tune in to learn a process that you can use to have that difficult conversation that you may have been avoiding. Welcome to this episode of Making Performance Matter, connecting employee performance to business results with your host, Cindy Allen Stuckey. I believe everyone intends to do a good job at work. Very rarely does someone think, you know what, today I'm going to wreak havoc with every single thing I do. But frequently, people's good intentions can come across in a way that has a different impact from what they intended. And that can lead to the need for you to have a difficult conversation with them. Now, delivering a difficult message is like throwing a hand hand grenade. There's no way to throw it with tact or to outrun the consequences. But choosing not to deliver a difficult message is like hanging on to the hand grenade once you've pulled that pin. So, how do you have that difficult conversation with someone and have them get it? Well, today I'm going to talk about the five-step process of using intent and impact to address difficult issues. But first, I want to define these. Intent is what I say or do, something that I know. Impact is what the other party sees or hears or observes. Now, we judge ourselves based on our intentions, but we judge others based on their impact. So you see there could be a disconnect there. So here's a situation. Person A believes his intent that he always listens to and values others' opinions. But the perception or the impact of others is that he's always in a rush and does not really listen to others. This creates a gap between intent and impact on others. Now, when when who you are is not aligned with how people see you, there is a critical disconnect that needs to be addressed. You need to provide feedback so that person sees a difference between his intent and his impact. This often is a matter of helping him step, step into other people's shoes so he can look at how he's viewed. So here's a five-step process to discuss intent and impact. First of all, draw this picture that you see here. Then say, I know that you intend to do a great job at work every time that you're here, and you believe that you always listen to and value other people's opinions. But my perception, or the perception of others, or the impact, is that you're always in a rush and really do not listen to others. So this creates a gap. And here's some examples that I or others have seen, and you talk about this. Be prepared. Feedback can come as a shock. You may hear, you don't really know who I am, or I'm not like that, or that's not what I intended, or why would you say this about me? And you say, I'm sure that's not what you intended, but put yourself in my place. What would you think the intent is if someone always appears to be in a hurry and doesn't listen? Step five, we've, now we've talked about the gap between intent and impact, and you say, So what do you want your behavior to look like so that your intent is aligned with your impact? Feedback is really the only way that a person can know about and understand the gap between intent and impact. And that's the only way that gap is going to shrink. Make sure when you have to have these difficult conversations that you follow these six steps in order to have that discussion. For more information on this and for other information, please go to my website. Thanks. Thank you for watching this episode of Making Performance Matter with Cindy Allen Stuckey. For more great information, visit Cindy's website at makingperformancematter.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.